In this video, I want to chat about applying datum feature symbols to a surface feature, okay? So there's a lot of different places you can apply a datum feature symbol. Just to re rewind, a datum feature symbol indicates which physical surface or portion of the part will be considered a datum feature for inspection, okay? So you're indicating which areas of the part are important for functionality, fit, setup, inspection, everything. Very important to know what's what. Now, it depends where you put these symbols on the drawing as to what they mean. So hopefully I can show you with a couple of examples. So there's a couple authorized ways to use them, and I highly recommend staying within the bounds of what ASME uh, specifies. When you start making stuff up, drawings get really difficult to interpret. So the most basic way, right up on the screen here, is to apply the datum feature symbol directly to the surface that you want to indicate is a datum. So in this case, we have datum A that's stuck to the bottom surface of that rectangle. It's pretty obvious what is the datum feature, right? Easy peasy. The downside to this is as your drawing collects more symbols and more information, sometimes this can get in the way and kind of it'll look a little rough, right? When you have things physically stuck to the part. So another way to do it is to apply it to the extension line. So just like dimensions, this gets stuff off of the part, which is always good. So this is applied to the extension line. It can be applied uh, close to the part, far away from the part. It can be right side up or upside down. And I'll explain the difference in my opinion on that in a second. The one place you cannot put it is directly in line with that dimension. So here's an example on the screen. In this case, when it's directly in line with that dimension line, it is not indicating that bottom surface is a datum feature. It's indicating that the middle of the part, that center plane, is a datum feature. So this part has to be inspected different. Now, again, this is a video about applying it to a surface, but you should know this because when you're applying the datum feature symbol to the extension line, you want to stay away from that dimension line. Or, as in this example, you see this occasionally, it's really close to the dimension line, not quite on it. So you're guessing what the designer wanted. Did they just, you know, did something fall off of the drawing? Because that happens. Sometimes you save a drawing and stuff just magically moves around. You're not quite sure what part portion of this part is the datum feature and you got to go ask the designer and that's never good. That's not what drawings are supposed to do. You're supposed to leave no room for interpretation. In my point of view, this drawing has room for interpretation. So the way I avoid this, when I'm going to apply a datum feature symbol to an extension line to indicate a surface is I flip that datum feature symbol. So right here, if you notice, it's flipped right side up. It's in the same area as the dimension. So no matter where this datum feature symbol goes, left or right, it'll never be lined up with that dimension. So no matter what happens to the drawing, you're always gonna have peace of mind that nobody's gonna misinterpret it. So when possible, I do recommend you set it up like this. It leaves no room for interpretation. It looks nice. It's a good way to go. So the next way we can apply that datum feature symbol is with a feature control frame. So there's two ways to do this. Now you can apply it uh, outside the feature control frame on the extension line, inside, you can do it inside the dimension, or you can attach it to the feature control frame. So here's an example of the datum feature symbol outside of the feature control frame. This is my preferred way to do it. The reason is when you're reading a drawing like this, you're reading it from the outside in. So you always wanna know where your datums are when you're looking at a part. So you start from the outside, you see the datum, you follow it back to the part. You can go datum, feature control frame, uh, part. You can do it any way you want. This is just how I prefer to do it to make my drawings as readable as I can. Now. You can also apply it directly to the feature control frame. So I wanna warn against this, this was not allowed prior to 1994. So the standards 1994 and previous did not allow you to apply a feature, a datum feature symbol 
to a feature control frame for a non-feature of size. So you could do it for a feature of size, but not for a non-feature of size, like a surface, which is what we're talking about. So why does that matter? Well, when it only applies, when you can only put it on features of size, then you know if you see it, it's a feature of size. In this case, when you look at this, you have to think for a second. Okay, it's applied to a flatness. Flatness can't be a feature of size. Okay, okay, cool. So what I recommend is only apply the datum feature symbol to a feature control frame if it is a feature of size. It's just an extra layer of protection to protect your design intent from misinterpretation. The next, you won't see that often applied to a surface, although it is allowed. You can indicate the datum feature symbol with a leader line, okay? So if it's pointed, if it's the same surface we've been talking about, you'll use an arrow, okay? So arrow is indicating that edge. Sometimes this can get you out of a pickle if you're just totally out of room in a drawing. That can make it a little tricky to interpret because usually this is reserved for things like threads where you kind of have to use it. Now, the other technique for this is to, if you need to show a datum that isn't visible. So say I wanted to indicate the opposite surface of this rectangular block as a datum feature, I could use a filled in dot, which indicates a surface you're looking at that's parallel to you, and then a hidden line on the leader would indicate other side, okay? So this is a valid technique. I would warn against using it. Say you needed to go make a revision to this drawing, now you don't have that extra view because you kind of cheated with showing other side with the datum feature symbol, see what I mean? So when you do a revision, now you're not just changing one thing, now you gotta add a whole nother view to the drawing, which could be tricky. If you need to show a datum feature, you should go ahead and add that view so it's clear to the reader exactly what they're dealing with, okay? So that's it. I just wanted to discuss datum feature symbols applied to surfaces. I'll make another video about applying them to features of size. If you could believe it, there's a little bit more to it than this conversation. So these are just a, a couple of my preferences. Most of this stuff is non-binding, you know, don't take it as law or anything, but if you follow my way, you'll make nice drawings, okay? So if you like the video, please like and subscribe. Check out the channel for similar content coming soon.